Hi, I'm Chase with Houston Frogs. Today I'm going to show you how we make our fruit fly cultures. Uh, now there's a lot of different tips and tricks to making cultures that can either make a culture or break a culture. But honestly, there's a lot of variables that are going to be affecting your cultures. That includes temperature, humidity, and the media that you use as well. Now the media that we formulated works excellent with both melon gaster and with Hydei fruit flies as well as a lot of other species that we're currently working with, experimenting with, that we'll be releasing soon to the public. Um, now with this, you should not have any problems with having soupy cultures. Now where are soupy cultures? Oftentimes it's when you have a culture that's too moist and when you go to dump out the flies, all the liquid runs out with the flies and makes it near impossible to feed. Um, so we've added some things in to solve that issue. Uh, now, how you're going to make your fruit fly cultures is you're going to add in a third of a cup of this media and then you're going to add in two third cups of boiling water. Now it's very important that your water is boiling. It's going to help to kill anything that may possibly be uh, in the water or in the cup or just any type of contaminants whatsoever. Now you're going to pour that in and really quickly you're going to vigorously stir that until it becomes a gel-like consistency. Just stir it. There we go. It's going to be extremely thick very quickly. Um, our media is a very fast setting media, so it's very important that you work quickly with it, or if you don't, then it's hard to get completely mixed. Um, it is important that you get every single amount of media mixed, if you uh, just pour it on top, and this is any media, if you just pour the water on top and you don't mix it, then you're going to find that you have dry media at the bottom, you're going to have more wet media at the top, it just doesn't work out well. It's very important to get a very homogeneous mixture. Now, you can see it's a very thick consistency. See like that, can't dump it out. Um, we're now going to add the yeast. Now the yeast is very important because while we do have two different types of mold inhibitors in our media, uh, the yeast acts as a third mold inhibitor. The yeast is a good fungi. It's going to help to start breaking down that uh, media to where the uh, fruit fly larva can start eating it. Uh, it's also going to help with uh, outcompeting other types of mold as well. So just put a, a thin sprinkling on top. Don't make it too thick, don't make it too thin. Uh, you're just basically seeding it with uh, the yeast. Then you're going to take your excelsior, take about a fist sized ball, puffed up ball, and put it firmly into your media. Now it's very important not to pack this too tight. Uh, if you pack it too tight that that may hurt your production because uh, it's going to prevent a lot of the flies from being able to get down into the media itself. This is just supposed to act as structure to both give the larva something to pupate on and as well to make more space for the flies. There's more surface area for the flies to go gather on when they do start booming. So you're going to go ahead and uh, put the lid on. Again, very important that you put the lid on in between these steps. Don't leave the lid off. The lid prevents it from drying out too much, of course, and also prevents especially native fruit flies from getting into your cultures. Now, even if one native fruit fly gets to your culture, it could ruin the whole culture. And that's because you'll open this up and all of a sudden, all these fruit flies will start flying everywhere. That's not something we want. So we actually have one culture that is ready to go. So I'm gonna show you how to seed the cultures now. So let the culture sit out about an hour or two until it is completely room temperature. Um, once it's room temperature, that's going to be ready to be able to seed with your flies, like we have this one here. Now the easiest way to do this, uh, we have some dwarf orange flies here. Uh, this is actually a species that only we are working with and we're going to be releasing to this, this to the public in probably about two months here. It's actually one of my favorite species, very similar to a Turkish glider, but uh, without all the annoyance to it. Uh, but go ahead and tap just a few flies uh, to the end, and then open the lid just slightly and let some of those flies go in. 
and then go ahead and close it. See, it's not a lot of flies, it's about maybe 20 or 30 flies. We go ahead and put the lid on, then take your trusty marker. I like to use Sharpie fine tip markers, and go ahead and put the date on the top. So we're going to mark this, and we're also going to mark the species on as well. We work with about 14 different species. You're probably gonna have like two or three or maybe four, but it's always helpful to mark the species. And you see we have the date marked on the top along with the uh, species on it. Uh, and that's really all you do. Just make sure to keep your uh, fruit fly cultures in a uh, cool place. They like to be in about 72 to maybe 78 degrees. I don't like to get them much hotter than that because then, um, you know, sometimes they get a little bit too hot and that can be when your fruit fly cultures crash. Uh, of course, the cooler it is, the slower they're going to be produced. Now, not too slow, we're talking about maybe a day or two at the most. Um, but I find that you get the biggest and best booms though when they are kept at lower temperatures. It takes longer for them to boom but better booms. Um, and if you want the optimal range between uh, big booms and short amount of gestation period for them, then generally about 75 degrees is perfect. Uh, anyways, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, contact us and ask away. Uh, otherwise, if you're interested in our uh, fruit fly culturing kits, then we do sell the kits for $10 for 1.2 pounds of media. If you want the full kit with uh, a big bag of Excelsior and cups and all that, it's 20 for everything, including a little bag of yeast. So thank you and have a good day.